the Flashworks box sizing. Let's click on the radio button and we'll get started. The NEC requires the following for boxes. They must be of an approved size to provide free space for all the enclosed conductors. The volume of the box must be calculated. Box volume calculations. The volume of a box is the total volume of the assembled sections. Plaster rings, extension rings, dome covers, etc. are marked with their volume. Standard boxes that are not marked with their volume can be found in Table 314.16a. Note, all the standard box sizes are in the Flashworks program. Box fill calculations. Conductor fill. Each conductor that originates outside of the box and terminates or is spliced within the box is counted once. Each conductor that passes through the box without a splice or termination is counted once. Each loop or coil of unbroken conductor, not less than twice the minimum length required for free conductors, six inches, is counted twice. A conductor, no part of which leaves the box, is not counted. Clamp fill. Where one or more internal cable clamps are present in a box, a single volume allowance shall be made based on the largest conductor present in the box. No allowance shall be required for a cable connector with its clamping mechanism outside of the box. A clamp assembly that is a cable termination for the cable conductors used with the listed specific non-metal boxes, the clamp assembly, there is no fill allowance required. Here's an illustration. The arrow points at the, at the clamp, and it says clamp. Supporting fittings fill. These are support fittings, fixture hickeys, etc. Where one or more luminaire studs or hickeys are present in the box, a single volume allowance for each type of fitting based on the largest conductor present in the box. Example, one stud plus one hickey would equal two volume allowances based on the largest conductor in the box. Device or equipment fill. Each yoke or strap containing one or more devices or equipment, a double volume allowance is required based on the largest conductor connected to the device or the equipment supported by the yoke or strap. See the examples below. Equipment grounding conductor fill. One or more equipment grounding conductors or equipment bonding jumpers enter a box. A single volume allowance is made based on the largest equipment grounding conductor or equipment bonding jumper present in the box. If an additional set of permitted equipment grounding conductors is present in the box, an additional volume allowance is made based on the largest equipment grounding conductor in the additional set. Typical box types. Square boxes. These are four inch squares or four and 11 16 square boxes. Masonry boxes.
typical box types continued. Switch boxes. Octagon boxes. Let's try box sizing. Step 1. Choose the largest conductor size. Select a number 12 from the drop-down list. Number of conductors equals 2. Step 2. How many yokes or straps? 1. How many fixture hickeys? 1. Step 3. Choose the largest equipment grounding conductor size. Select a number 12 from the drop-down list. And now on to the program. We're going to do box sizing today. So click on box sizing. And you get a second screen. This is the box sizing screen. Check it out. It's step by step. So let's size the largest conductors in the box. Do the drop down. And we're just going to say they're number 12. And we have two of them in the box. What's the next largest conductor in the box? That's going to be a number 14 in the scroll down list. And let's say we've got two of those. Specify the next size conductor. Well, we don't have any more conductors. So we'll go over to step two. How many yokes or straps? Well, let's just say we've got one. And we've got one clamp. And we don't have any fixture studs. So next we go to step three largest equipment grounding conductor in the box well that's going to be a number 12 largest equipment grounding conductor in the additional set we don't have any so we're ready to calculate go to step four click the compute button and it's calculated the volume of the largest conductors is 4.5 cubic inches the box size needed is 17 cubic inches so let's see what kinds of boxes we could use. Go over to box in step five box and go to square boxes. And you see there's a list of square boxes. So let's just try a four by one and a half inch box. It says that the that size is 21 cubic inches and notice it says you could use that box. Now let's go down to round boxes. And let's see if we could use a round box. And you can use check any size because it'll tell you whether you can use it or not. If you notice the one we selected, it says too small. Select another box. So let's try the larger box. Yep, it's okay. You can check now device boxes. Uh, this needs a fairly good sized device box. So let's say uh, three by two by three and a half. That's okay. And you can check each box in the list to see if they're okay or not. Now let's check a masonry box. Now let's charge the larger of the two. That's okay. Now an FS or an FSD box. Um, let's try a single cover gang. Let's do a two and three eighths. And that's also okay. So it's just that straight up and easy. You don't have to thumb through the code book. It's all here for you. And you'll notice it's got the number of deductions in the box. And when you're done, you can go back and just push the done button. It'll take you back to the welcome screen. Pretty simple, pretty fast. That's Flashworks. Thanks for watching.